We were due to get out of Exeter that night. Um, you know, we, we got stuck there for an extra day. Um, players came back with a six-day turnaround. Um, tried to keep the week, you know, reasonably light, but trying to get enough work done as well. Um, so just wanted to run out the stadium there. So um, guys are in good form. Came through reasonably well. Reese being the exception. So um, you know, just to make sure we focus and prepare well again. Um, it was a very long lead into the to last week's game. On the flip side, it was very very short prep going into this week. So um, just trying to get that balance between doing enough work and keeping the guys fresh as well. So um, yeah, guys have uh, applied themselves w well this week. So looking forward to another good challenge. Hopefully, get a big crowd in the Aviv as well. Um, the players enjoy playing there. Um, you know, and you know when we were there against Munster earlier on the year, you know, have a crowd of forty seven thousand. So. You know, if we got anywhere near that again, it'd be amazing. Exeter, you know, their teams have show amazing consistency, you know, selection plus in what they do as well. Um, and yeah, they have a very clear picture of what they want to try and do to teams. Um, you know, they had a very impressive win away in Montpellier, and that's a not an easy place to come or to go to. So uh, I don't think they'll have any fears coming over here. Um, so it's important that we are able to impose our game on them. So. They have that sense of doubt about themselves when they're here. So, um, but if you allow extra to play, um, you know they cause teams problems. You know they're on a very good run prior to our game. Um, you know big wins they beat. You no know, Saracens away as well. Um, obviously Bath and Harlequins as well in the, in the weeks leading in. So they'd come off that win against uh, Montpellier as well away. So um, yeah, they're a, they're a formidable team. Um, all the things we talked about last week still applies. So um, yeah, there was some key moments in the game where. We maybe we got a little bit lucky as well, so um, we just need to make sure that we're nailed on, get all our bits that we can control right, and you know try and nullify some of the threats that they have. You know, we got a little bit of reward from some of those contestable kicks, and you know if you, that's the whole thing about you know you're you're trying to probe and see where teams are a little bit vulnerable, and you know we there was some times where we got some good change out of going in the air, so um, players went back to that, and just about making smart decisions on the field. Oh, it's just it's just a different uh, different buzz. Even when you're down the Viva today, um, you know, like it's 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 big. You know, anytime you're getting over forty thousand people to games, um, you know, it's it's incredible. Like you know, it's the envy of, I would imagine, the majority of teams across Europe, and it's a real point of difference for Leinster. So, you know, to the supporters, you know, it does mean a huge amount to the to the players, to to everybody associated with the club. So hopefully, again, we'll get a big crowd.